What's going on everyone, Xlight04 here. And today I'm gonna do a fight breakdown. As you can see, we'll be fighting on streets. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip here and then we'll talk about it. And just for some context, um, <clears throat> there's two guys that are above us and we're underneath the cinema bridge. Like we just spawned by damaged house and we ran forward and then we heard them above us. And there's like a scab shooting at my buddy. Um, so we heard him above us and then I'm going to roll the clip and then we'll talk about it afterwards. There's 1,000. How are they not getting shot at? It must be the one guy that's back here. He's he's one thousand percent back here. I see him. That's, that's the other guy. Do you see the other guys yeah, over yeah, yeah. there? Okay. I'm running underneath. I'm gonna try to throw him off with audio. Yeah, both, both coming this way, both. Can I get me a second. Push, 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 push. They're both looking at me. Got one. one. One more, one more, one more. He's behind his gate, right here, right behind his face, right here. Okay, okay. Give me a second, just don't overpeak it. He's pushing me. I hit him hard. For nice kill. Okay, so we had a chance to take a look at the clip here. Um, so let's go ahead and just break this down. <clears throat> so essentially, when I come around this corner, I'm checking to see where they are because, you know, you're always looking for information when you're fighting other players. So I check to see if they're maybe going across the street towards the bus. I don't notice anybody. So I kind of look a little bit up higher and just coincidentally, they come running down the steps. Now, I am not sure if they see me right here um, because they could be looking to the right. I really can't tell, but they reacted yeah, this way. pretty quickly to me when I leaned out and started shooting immediately shots start coming back so i think they saw me and they got anywhere in the process of getting their aim up when i stepped out again so now i have their focus and i'm going into cover because i want push, to push, push, push. Both i want to draw them in so that they both start shooting at me so that my duo who went up top and wrapped around can now get behind them and start putting shots on them me so i position myself right here behind this pillar because I was going to go left of the pillar. You saw me start to go left, but then I brought it back to the right because you always want to be on the right-hand peak. I mean, they may fix this eventually, but until then, anytime that you're getting ready to fight an enemy, you want to make sure that you're leaning out to the right or, you know, looking from like your right side because looking from the left means that they're going to be able to see your arm before you see them and then they can shoot you. So like, that's the biggest takeaway um that you can apply to any fight is always make sure you're leaning to your right there are exceptions where you can do it to the left but you know that's a conversation for another time it's just tricky so anyway i open fire on this guy and you can see the bullets coming down from up top my buddy's right above me and we're both focusing this guy down first guy goes down <clears throat> good shots right and now i'm going back out to check for information again to see where the other guy is because i remembered he was right here but he could have moved he could be proned out or something so i just wanted to get info and step back into cover and you can see the confusion on this guy because he's looking at his buddy who just died and he knows that like it wasn't exactly me right he's like looking trying to figure out what's happening he doesn't even know at this point that my buddy's above him more, so I put some shots on him to grab his focus again because I want my buddy to wrap around and hit the top of these steps. That's what I want because my buddy can't see him from right here. And right now it's a 1v1 fight between me and this guy. And some people out there will want to take the 1v1 fights. Um, <clears throat> you know, like they won't wait for their buddy. They will just, uh, they just go in. And in this game, I really feel like it's in your best interest to leverage your teammates. I mean... I'm not saying that you need to wait for your teammate to die and then shoot him in the back, but if you if you have the numbers, you can play to those numbers because it just makes the game so much easier. So right now, he's up against the wall and my buddy can't help, right? And instead of engaging with him, I go back into cover. That way, my buddy can get set up and we can pinch again like we did the first guy. But this guy understands the situation that the buddy is getting ready to do the flank, and this is a good play on his part. He pushes around the corner to look for me. Me hearing the footstep audio, I go ahead and get into a right peak. He comes around the corner shooting, and I just step right out, and I just smoke him. I'm hard. I think he made a good play because you, if you're fighting 1v2 or 1v whatever, ideally you want to make as many 1v1 fights as you can. You don't want to fight both people at the same time because that's very difficult to win. So his push down towards me to get under the bridge was really good. My buddy said he tagged him a few times as he turned the corner, so that probably helped me out too and made it easier for me to kill him. Um, but again, I think the key takeaways here 
are that you want to attack from multiple angles if you have a buddy, and you want to avoid making fights 1v1s if you can help it. Um, because if you do, if you go head on with somebody or you swing out, you end up taking damage in the process, whereas you could just peek out after someone, one of your buddies put shots on them, and then you can kind of quickly clean up without taking any damage. And neither one of us got hit at all during that fight. So I really think it's important that people play to their numbers. I'm guilty. Sometimes I will swing by myself instead of waiting for my duo or whoever. And I need to do a better job at that. But as you can see in this video, staying on your right hand peaks is important because it reduces the amount of body showing to the enemy. And attacking from multiple angles can cause confusion. And it really cuts off the enemy's player's options like he if he wanted to he couldn't go out this way towards the plant and jump up and he couldn't do that because my buddy's up here blocking that entire section off and he can't go up the steps towards my buddy because i'll lean out and i will catch him going up the steps so locking down parts of the map and boxing people into a corner is really effective and i feel like i see a lot of big teams who don't do that that really should start leveraging their numbers and locking down lanes and just be slow and methodical and you know take out enemy players that's all i had for you guys i hope you enjoyed the video consider dropping a like or a follow for your boy and have a good day or night depending on where you are peace